BBC South East Today. Now, the spa town of Royal Tunbridge Wells is renowned for many things, but it's fair to say it's not really known as a hotbed of footballing talent. But the minnows of Tunbridge Wells FC have defied the odds and made history by reaching the final of the FA Vars, which means that they get to play at the home of football, Wembley Stadium, on May the 4th. In a moment, we'll be speaking to the club's manager, Martin Larkin, and captain, Jason Bourne. But first, we're going to have a little look at how they made it to Wembley after a very tense semi-final. It's a good one. Lifted high towards the game. And it is Harry Smackman has scored for Tunbridge Wells. It's 3-2 on the day. Tunbridge Wells lead 4-3 on aggregate. Martin Larkin and Jason Bourne join me in the studio. Thanks very much for coming in. Jason, it's a footballer's dream to play at Wembley. How does it feel now that your dream is going to come true? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it hasn't really sunk in yet. I think speaking to everyone hasn't sunk in. So, yeah, it'll take, it'll take a while. I'm not sure it'll actually be there until it's all over and done with. So, Because it was on a knife edge, wasn't it, in your game? Up until the last minute, there was that, there was that goal that was disallowed. It could have gone to penalties. Was there a point at which you were worried that you might not get through? Not necessarily worried about it. It was it was a, a bit tense towards the end. The, the offside goal was a very offside goal. It's why, it's why we trained so hard. The defence are well drilled and got up and out and, and caught him offside. But no, it was never really in doubt in our minds but obviously if it had gone to penalties it would have needed to and we would have coped with that. So how do you cope with the next few games that you've got to get through Jason because obviously everyone's mind's going to be on this final but you've still got you've still got games to play haven't you? Yeah that's right yeah we've got loads of games I mean we're in a fortunate position to be in a position to challenge for a league title so we could, we're going to go and take care of that uh, we've also got Kent Senior trophy final to take care of so it's not like we're just going through the motions. We've got big games coming up, so that'll take our mind off the big day on May the 4th. So look, the last Kent team that played in the FA Vars final, Deal Town, they managed to, to round up about 20,000 fans, I think it was, to go and watch them. But where are your fans going to come from? Tunbridge Wells hasn't got quite that many fans to provide, has it? Well, it's quite a big town still, so we'd hope that the town would come out and support us. And it's, it's very much a Kent family uh, issue. There's a lot of non-league teams in Kent uh, right across the board from uh, the conference right down to the Kent leagues. We'd hope all the fans would come out and, and support on the day. Uh, also, the more from the sound, the better to, to help grow the club. But it's uh, but across very Kent exciting. as well, the people who right play. Yeah. Well, right across the South East. It's very much a North versus South game in terms of where they're from. So uh, you draw a line across Birmingham and everyone from below that is welcome on the day. And uh, your family going to be there? I know they've followed you all the way around, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right, yeah. I mean, I was fortunate the kids and my partner came up to the game. Uh, all my family behind me, same as the whole town, really. I mean, you say we can't maybe not round up 20,000, but I'm sure we can with all the schools and the sports clubs and stuff like that all behind us. I'm, oh, pretty I'm sure, sure there'll be loads of people yeah. rooting for you. And the, the tickets have gone on sale today, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you coming much. in. And now, staying with football, 